Hey guys, welcome back to another video from Double T Lofts. So uh, this is gonna be just kind of an overview, overview over everything. Um, I'll go ahead and get these birds out to fly. Um, I've changed a lot up in here. So I'm starting to focus more on how much I'm feeding them and I'm only getting them that much water per day instead of that big jug. And um, as y'all can see, they look pretty well. Um, their feather quality looks pretty nice and uh, they've been eating right and flying for about an hour. So I'm gonna see if I can get them all out here and we'll get them up and flying. So you guys stay tuned. Okay, so we have them here. They're in the aviary. And we're just gonna go ahead and open up this gate and we're gonna turn them out. Okay, so now they're out, and I uh, believe it's about 4.15, so uh, should be about an hour to hour and a half, and uh, they'll go off range in here in a little bit, and we're going to go ahead and step in here and check out the breeders, and I got to see if I got to ban any babies, and if I do, then that'll be in this video here, so uh, you guys stay tuned. Uh, so we're going into the uh, breeding loft here and uh, don't mind the mess. I was going to clean this last time and I cleaned out their bottoms, but I'm actually going to do it this next time. So finally, this pair, my uh, Romanian and Jansen pair, went down on an egg. Sorry for it, it won't focus too well there, but uh, uh, my Titan pair here is still on eggs, but uh, they're looking pretty well. And then uh, my thunder pair here, we're gonna take a look at their babies. So you can see how big they're getting. And uh, they're looking pretty good. And their bands are still on as you can see. You can see they're actually pretty dark in color. Um, I think it's still just gonna be a regular blue bar, but they kind of look a little bit darker than a uh, normal blue bar. But we'll just have to wait and see. So we'll push them back there. Um, I haven't fed or watered them today, so um, I'll be doing that here in just a minute. And for those of y'all who might be wondering, I mix a Versalaga Classic, 15% um, with corn, with the, uh, the I believe it's Versalaga IC Start maybe. And you can see there's a lot of good seeds in there. And uh, this is usually what I feed on. Uh, basically every year I usually at least try to get the start not so much the classic but lots of little seed for when they're young and then lots of packed protein seeds there for when they start getting older and um, I also use this uh, Versalaga all-in-one grid and uh, I can open it here I'll show y'all this is what it looks like it's got a lot of the red, which is like clay, um, a lot of calcium, and all the good stuff. I really don't know a whole lot about grit, but uh, I do like this quite a bit. It's basically like candy to them. So, uh, but uh, we'll hop back right in here and show you all this next pair. Um, they're still on eggs. The They should be hatching, I believe, later this week or beginning of next week. And um, their eggs are uh, the Romanian's pair. So, but this is um, my Jansen Cockbird here with my uh, daughter of uh, Titan. And these are their two babies. And you can see that they're getting fed really, really well. And they're growing pretty good. They're, uh, I believe, four days old today. Three or four days old. And so I won't be having to ban them until later this week. But uh, these are the babies right down here that I was thinking I'm going to have to ban. And, uh, sorry for the camera there. Um, I believe they're a littler. They're a little more on the smaller side here. But, um, we may go ahead and just try to put a band on them. And if it stays, and that's just good. And we may have to put it on them tomorrow, too. I don't know. It may fall off. But, uh, yep, that's how breeding's going. So, I'm actually going to go ahead and run over and get the bands. And we'll go ahead and stick it on them. So, stay tuned. I got the bands now. This year I'm using 
Jed's bands. Um, I figured out last year that the bed bands that I had were knockoffs. So these are Jed's, and that's the number for one of them. So uh, I'm going to get them out and go ahead and get them banded. So stay tuned. Okay, so they are big enough. And as y'all can see here, they got the bands on. So uh, we'll go ahead and scoot them on back. And I'm going to go ahead and make some, get some feet up, um, freshen up their grit, and um, give them all fresh water. And then we'll hop back out and see if we can see the flying birds. And if we can't, then we'll wait till they land. So stay tuned. Okay, so now everybody has fresh food, fresh water, fresh grit. So we're going to step out. I believe I actually heard um, one of the birds land on the roof. Um, there they are out there. If it's the one I'm thinking about, it's the youngest one. He doesn't fly as much as the rest of them. Um, I hear him up there, but I don't know. There he is. I guess he went to the other side, but uh, I usually scare him up because I believe it's only like been about 10 minutes probably 15 minutes but uh these these uh six right here usually fly the best and these are obviously the older birds so uh we'll uh we may go ahead and kick this young one up here try to get him back up there with them but uh i want to ask y'all a few questions on uh, what would be some good names for my hens because uh, i've named a couple of my cockbirds now and I need some good names for my hens. If y'all would comment down below what are some good names for them, then uh, that'd be great, greatly appreciated. Um, if those of y'all who didn't see the last video, and if you didn't catch on today, my Gannis Cockbird, I'm naming Titan. Um, his son that is in the box below him, I'm naming Thunder. And then that uh, my Beckert is uh, Romanian, since I got him from Roma Romanian Dave. So uh, those are the kind of names I'm kind of thinking of. And I still have uh, two more cockbirds that I would like to name. If uh, y'all have any good names for them too. Uh, it's my Jansen cockbird that's on this far end. And then the one that's below him, my Jansen pied. And uh, I need some good names for them. Um, I don't have a specific theme or nothing. So just anything would probably work. Um, but I'll go through and pick which one I like the best. So, uh, but if you guys enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, subscribe. Uh, comment down below what else you'd like to see. I'll see you guys next time.